Okay guys, I've been away for a long weekend. I'm back at work now, keen to check on the tadpoles and the frogs. Uh, fortunately, it's not all going to be good news. I have found some rather upsetting things. Let's take a look. So I'm going to go into it in a little bit more detail, but basically I found two frogs that have died over the weekend. And uh, also I've sort of identified one or two of the frogs and some of the tadpoles that don't seem to be developing quite right. Uh, let me show you a little bit closer up on some of them. So this little guy here, his back legs appear to bend the wrong way. They're kind of bending forward. It's very difficult to see. Um, but it looks, looks very strange and it's definitely not a good sign. Uh, some kind of uh, defect in this development here. But they definitely don't look like proper back legs. They, they're bending, you can, see what, you can see the knee joint there is bending forwards towards his head, like that. Oh, you see that? Oh, you see if we can see how he swims. Try and get this in focus here. Maybe this was the guy that I pointed out last time who was always doing the splits, possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but I know. I think it's probably not him because it's been a few days since that clip and that one should have lost its tail by now, but this one still has its tail. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see that he is kind of doing the splits and his legs bend forwards. That, that's not a good sign. That he's not going to develop properly. That's a real shame. That is a real shame. Uh, also a development that we've had, I've removed him already, but the one that I pointed out last week that had a twisted back, I said we we're going to keep an eye on how he developed. Unfortunately, I found him uh, floating in the in the tanks uh, this morning. He had died, which is a, which is a real real shame. But uh, there's obviously something wrong with him. His back wasn't properly formed, and uh, so unfortunately he's died. And this one I can't see. He's definitely not going to survive out in the wild. So that's a real shame. Uh, disturbingly, I seem to have found another one that's actually further along developed, but I'll try and zoom in. The, the zoom isn't great on this camera, but you can see quite clearly there, his right back leg is sticking out at a very, very odd angle. That's definitely not normal. And um, I'm guessing maybe this is the one that had uh, was doing the splits last time out. Um, it would have developed possibly his legs. Oh, it's just... There's obviously some kind of a defect. I mean, a lot of these are going to be brothers and sisters, so they're from the same brood. So the, the genetics are going to be sort of similar. So there is possibly um, you know, a bit of a defect in, in some of these. Um, because also, if you remember the one that had the twisted back, you can also see there are two other tadpoles. There's this guy over here, you can kind of see his tail is kind of a little bit strange. It's kind of his back twists and his tail twists out to the side. And uh, there was another one. This one here has it slightly as well. It's not quite as pronounced as the other one, the one that I think has already died. But um, yeah, that's two, two more that have slight defects as well. So it's a little bit concerning, and, and um, I don't know what kind of cause uh, would have it. Um, whether it's kind of a genetic defect, uh, whether it's just a, um, a random defect in their metamorphosis or whether it's a uh, actual disease that's causing it. Actually, there's another one over there. If you can zoom in on the, this one there, the, in the centre. Um, that one's got a, a wonky tail as well. That's quite pronounced. That's kind of similar to the other one. So um, if, if it is some kind of viral disease that's causing it, which is one reason why you don't release them into a different pond from where you got them from. Because uh, if it is a disease, that disease will already be in the pond and um, so you won't be transferring the diseases from pond to pond. So, um, but as I say, it might not be a disease, it could just be, could be, just be a birth defect of some kind, which is a real shame. Um, but as I said right at the beginning of the series, um, from the uh, sort of two or three, even four thousand eggs that a female will lay, only five will survive on average uh, to being a, an adult. And uh, you can see a lot of the, uh, the reasons why they don't develop properly, they won't get enough food, you know, there's, there's so many predators. So there's a, it's, it's a very, very tough life for a little frog. And some of these ones uh, look like they are having a bit of a tough time of it, which is a real shame. You can't save them all, unfortunately. So let's summarize a bit. 
I found two dead frogs. I've identified uh, several frogs and tadpoles that may have uh, development defects. Um, I mean, th think back to last week and uh, some of the characters that I pointed out to you. The one that was always doing the splits, quite possibly he's one of the ones that we got identified in there that have the legs that bend the wrong way round. There's a few of them that look like that. It's probably one of those. The one with the twisted back, I think is one that I found that had died. Um, who else did we have? There was the, the tadpole that was always upside down or on his side. Now I said I didn't think he's very healthy. I can't see him in there at all. I can't see any, I don't think he's developed into a frog just yet. And I can't see any of the tadpoles that are remaining uh, who are acting like that, who are upside down or on their side or swimming in circles. So it's potentially, he may well have died over the weekend. And if he did do, then he may well have been eaten by the other tadpoles. Uh, tadpoles will be carnivorous. So if, if any of them die in the tank, then they generally will get eaten by some of the other ones. Um, so it hasn't been a great start to the week. But if you look, I mean, let me show you, let me flip my camera around about it now I don't think it is the knees that are bent the wrong way it's just that the knees aren't bent if you look at the um, the way the foot is angled that would be angled in the right way if it was uh, bent back um, so I think basically what happened is that the, the knee joint is held out straight and that's what's making it look like it's coming out at a not angle so if you look at the leg on this one if you look at the way the foot is angled for the at the ankle joint it's kind of angled the same way as this one um, but all this happens is that this one, this one, he has his knee bent normally, and the other one has his knee held out straight. So um, yeah, there's something wrong with the, with the legs, even the, sort of the um, the hip joint or the knee joint or something is, is wrong. And it's only on one leg on that one. Um, <clears throat> whereas if we nip over to this one over here, both legs are being held out straight to the side so that the feet are angled forwards. So I think the, the ankle joint, the feet, are held at the right angle, but it's the knee joints, they should be bent, whereas these guys are holding the legs out straight. So yeah, interesting. have loads and loads of frogs in there. There are just, I I'm not, haven't had to count up yet, but there are definitely a lot in there. And um, there's not really enough space for them now, so I think what I'm going to do, so what I usually do, is I am going to release some of them back into the pond. Um, and we'll, we'll definitely keep some to, uh, to um, grow them a little bit more. So I'm going to release maybe about half of the ones that are in there and the rest we can keep hold of. So I'm going to try and gather them up and uh, we'll put them out by the pond. So at risk of this becoming the most depressing episode of Frog Watch ever, I found something else as I looked out the window towards the pond today. I'm going to show you it, so something has died out there. Um, so if you don't want to see it, look away now. Here we go, so unfortunately I found this uh, fox just laying out there. Um, I've no idea, I haven't been over to look at it, I'm, on, I'm just going to leave it there and I'll let the, uh, the grounds team come and take it away. Um, but So I've no idea what would have caused this death, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll look away now because it's not too pleasant. So um, it hasn't been a great start to the week. Okay, so I've been catching them one by one and releasing them into the pond. There was one in the centre of the screen there. There's another two over by this flower. You can see one sitting on top of the flower there. And I think if we scroll down a little bit here, we should see another one. And uh, yeah, so we're on a slightly happier note now that we have released some into the pond. It's now up to these guys to look after themselves and to find their own food and hopefully grow into big, strong adult frogs. Interestingly, something has come through here. You can see the garden here where I was looking at the uh, the flowers, the thick-legged flower beetle last week. Uh, this has all been kind of squashed down and a lot of the flowers have been broken. So something big has come through here, something or someone. So I'm not too sure, maybe that was the fox who was uh, over there. Another quick look at that one. Well, we'll keep away from that. Interestingly, the fox appears to only have three legs, which is a little bit strange. Okay guys, so it is now a few days later, it's now Friday, and uh, I come in to uh, feed the frogs again, so I put in a whole load of crickets and they're all jumping around and feeding nicely. Um, now there's one really upsetting thing really, is you remember the guy who was always doing the splits? Uh, there he is over there. Um, you can see how his legs are deformed, he's str really struggling to swim and I'm not sure he's going to be able to get out of the water very easily at all. Um, it's really upsetting. You can see how his legs are just coming out to the side where they should be kind of gone backwards a little bit. And uh, yeah, he's really struggling to move. There's, there's unfortunately 
there's no way he can survive um, out in the wild. You can see there he, he can't swim properly. Um, it's really upsetting. I don't really know what to do. I'm going to leave him in there because he may be able to get some food, but it seems unlikely he's going to be able to feed himself. Um, like some of these other ones over here are just able to, uh, to get in there. We've got one really quite large frog there now. He's, he's certainly a lot bigger than the other ones. But I'm quite glad that I was able to get in today and get some food into them. So one other upsetting thing I'm going to show you, we do have one more casualty that's died over the last couple of weeks. And that is the guy that we were looking at. Um, sorry to show you this if it's upsetting you. But this is the guy who had one normal leg and one leg that was like that one that we just saw. Um, the other one's got two legs like it. This one's just got the one leg that comes out this way. Whereas they say it should be coming back this way. And unfortunately he didn't survive, which is not really surprising. If anyone's going to die, it was, it was going to be him, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I'm fully expecting that this one um, here won't survive much longer. Um, but that's nature for you. There's actually nothing I can do about it. I can't fix him. Um, I would just have to hope that uh, he can you know, remain happy for as long as he can. But uh, yeah, but that's going to be, uh, that's pretty much it for the update at the moment. So as you can see, looking after tadpoles and frogs is not as easy as it seemed at first. This is now the third year that I've done this, and I must say I've never had this many problems in the last couple of years that I've done this. Um, the kind of uh, physical defects that these guys have had, I've never encountered this before, so this is a completely new experience for me. Um, I'm not really sure what would have caused it, I'm hoping it's just a case of bad genetics and uh, that there's nothing that I've done to cause this. Um, or hoping it's not some kind of disease that's in the tank. I really hope that so, but I've never seen this before. Um, I'm going to go away and I'm going to do some research, hopefully to see if I can find out uh, what this sort of thing is, if it's, a, if it's a common thing in frogs or not. I have absolutely no idea right now. Um, if I find anything out, I will let you know next week. Um, but for now, I think that's all we're going to do, and um, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. It's been a little bit of a strange one. It's been quite upsetting, some of the things that um, there's absolutely nothing I can do about some of these, uh, these frogs. I can't fix them. I can't do it. So, uh, But anyway, hopefully next week out will be a little bit of a happy episode, and we'll see how they're getting. Some of them are getting quite big. I don't think if you can see this one right here, but he's getting pretty big. And uh, hopefully some of the other ones will, uh, will grow up quite nicely as well. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.